could basically trace the age of a tree. How you would know how old it is? Well, you could basically trace the age of a tree. How you would know how old it is? Well, at the end of every year's growth, it sends what's called a terminal bud. And around that terminal bud are a grouping of, oh, that one's right, <laughs> a grouping of buds ready to go as branches. So this would have been the growth that happened in one year, uninterrupted, until it formed the terminal bud. And you see a little bit of a line here. That's where the bud stopped. So that would have been, let's say, year one. Typically, you see what happens? So the branches will pattern out from there. And then it grew uninterrupted, uninterrupted, uninterrupted. This would be likely here, or you know what happened here? It did, and then there was a rain in the autumn, and then it shot again, and then it stopped here for the winter. So that's why you get two patterns of branching. So that would be the start of autumn, and this would really be the start of winter. So there it stopped. So that would be two years of growth. And then from there, it never stopped. So that was the third year. And it stopped at the, wait a minute, that's not all. Yeah, it stopped at almost the end. You see we're above the last peach? That's the third year. And the fourth year is the fruiting. So this is actually four years. It could have been, it was four years since it was cut. So it was yeah, it could have been five years since the seed was put in the ground. And so that gives you, it's always good to know. And then the other thing is to know when, uh, it's always important to realize for each of your fruit, when does it fruit? Does it fruit on this year's growth? Some plants do fruit on the growth of the year. Others fruit on last year's growth. Most of them actually fruit on what was put on last year and check out our latest video.